Hello and welcome to the Austrian Grand Prix. We are back. I am back. I am no longer ill. Celebrate. And we're going to celebrate with the Austrian Grand Prix, which was an absolute cracker last season. Hopefully we'll live up to expectation again for being an absolute cracker. And hopefully I will not be ill again. We have an arrows on par with Ralf Schumacher. I think he's still the championship leader. I don't know. But away we go and it's a fantastic start for Alonso. Alonso, looks like he's already taken the lead off of Ralf Schumacher. It looks like Ralf Schumacher's going to lose second place as well. Might even lose third place to the Jaguar. Yes, he is. Alonso takes the lead with a slow motion shot of them going around turn one. Frentzen is in second place in the arrows. That looks like De La Rosa in third place. Ralf Schumacher has dropped down to four from pole. There is Ralf Schumacher. Bertie's just stormed straight past Michael Schumacher. And we have a replay of Pedro Diniz in the BAR, who looks like he's just had a fantastic start. Through Trulli, Button, Coulthard. He's already right behind his teammate. He might even get past Panis. No, Panis keeps hold of whatever position they are in, of probably 12th and 13th, I don't think. But Alonso currently leads the Austrian Grand Prix. Frensen currently in second place in the Arrows. Third place being occupied by Pedro de la Rosa in the Jaguar in third place. Ralf Schumacher is in fourth place with Mika Salo, fifth place in the Toyota. With sixth place being Bertie in the Jaguar. Seventh place, Michael Schumacher in the Ferrari. 8th place is Mike Robins Barry Kello in the Ferrari. Ninth place is Vizzy Kello in the Renault. And the last remaining point is the other Renault of Jean Lacy. With 11th place being in Panis. 12th is currently David Coulthard. 13th, Diniz under pressure from Button in 14th. The other Jordan 15th of Trilly. 16th is Sato in the Minardi. 17th is Weber currently in the Sauber. 18th is Young in the Minardi, 19th is Hakkinen in the McLaren and 20th is Kimi Raikkonen in the Sauber. And that is the field with Alonso leading still. A few seconds in, well, exactly a second in front of Frensen is Alonso. Frensen currently occupying second place in the race for the Arrows team. Third is De La Rosa. Still not much overtaking happening at the moment. From the first lap. Everything has calmed down a little bit. But I we are, we are all expecting action. It's the Austrian Grand Prix. Last season was probably the highlight of the race. The Austrian Grand Prix. Well, highlight of the season. The Austrian Grand Prix, French Grand Prix was quite close. But I think everyone thoroughly enjoyed the Austrian Grand Prix as we got on board with a Ralph Schumacher, currently fourth place. There is Salo, fifth place in the other Toyota. So far both Toyota and Arrow scoring the same amount of points as each of them. Which keeps the stand championship hotted up. Built to be on board with Michael Schumacher, with Rubens Barrichello in the other Ferrari. There is Fizzy Keller in the Renault with the Lazy and Panis. Panis is looking very quick and feisty in these opening laps. We are on going on to lap number four. And that was a car off to the side of the track. That I do not know what car that was. It looked to be a Ferrari, but I didn't actually catch who that was on the side of the track. And it looks like it was Michael Schumacher in a Ferrari, obviously. And is he just going to pull off simply to the side of the road? The answer is yes, he is slowing off to the side and he nicely parks it up it's going to be an easy pick up and that was Panis looking down the inside of course no overtaking under caution 
but Palace now 10th place he's managing to get the point for the BAR team and we go on board with Coulthard in the McLaren he is currently occupying 11th place 12th place Barely is Dinez, but Button looks like he might be going through. No, he isn't. Or oh, is he? Button does the switch back. And he looks like he's going to be clean through Dinez. Button comes into 12th place. That's an overtake. We have witnessed an overtake. Put that one down in your box. Because we had one more overtake than the last time I commentated. Dinner is currently in 13th place in the BAR now, and that is truly behind Dinner's. Obviously, Dinner's had a fantastic start. He was like, I think, started 19th or 20th, and has managed to get up into 14th, so sort of out of position at the moment. We're going to with Mark Weber in the Sauber. He is currently in 16th place. We have a lovely shot of them going up of the hill. Towards turn two. On board of Young now as they go up around the hairpin. Hakkinen is still directly behind Young. Raikkonen is behind these two. Now the, the, the two fins notorious for crashing. Hakkinen has sent one down the inside of Young and has taken that place brilliantly. Without crashing into him, that's how you overtake Hakkinen. He is now in to 17th place. We go back on board with the leader who has slightly pulled away from friends and 1.7 seconds is the gap between the Toyota and the Arrows. And the Arrows is one second in front of De La Rosa as well. De La Rosa looks like he has his hand full of Ralph Schumacher but it's apparently it's about a second gap as well between De La Rosa and Rav Schumacher and there's Rav Schumacher and again a second between De La Rosa and Salo all of these oh that's not Salo in second place anymore Salo has di disappeared from the face of the earth so it looks like Salo has retired but is the cameraman ever going to pick up Salo retiring who knows Fisica is seventh a lazy is being dropped by all these lot. There is Salo. We're on board with him now. Is he going to simply go off the side of the road? No, well, half-heartedly off to the side of the road. He becomes our second retirement from this race. This is off the racing line. He joined Michael Schumacher on the sidelines. Now a lazy eighth place. Panis in ninth. Coulthard has found himself in 10th place in the McLaren as they go down the pitch straight until lap 7 Panis has a little look down the inside of a lazy but can't make the move stick and a lazy just drives away in the Renault and is Panis going to have a dive bomb? he's had a bit of a dive bomb but he had the corner all wrong there and Lazy just gets to drive away. Kovac in 10th place currently in the McLaren. Coming down to turn 4 and 5. There's Button in 11th place in the Jordan. He has pulled away significantly from Dennis. 6 seconds is in front of this. Well, Trilly is still behind Dennis. Dennis still holding truly up if she's not careful Sato is going to be for company as well Alonso leads the Austrian Grand Prix Frenton in second third place De La Rosa fourth place Ralph Schumacher fifth place Bertie sixth place Barry Keller seventh place Fizzy Keller 11.88 seconds behind the leader Alesi and Panis line astern pretty much cool fires in 10th place 11th place currently occupied by Button 12th place will be this battle between Dinners and Trulli down the pitch straight they go and that uh, is Sato and Weber also quite close round turn one no way to overtake there up towards turn two and turn 
3. There they go around turn 2 and turn 3 is heavy braking. And Trilly still cannot get down the inside of Dinners. But he's visibly closer to Dinners now. Is Dinners going to be able to keep hold of 12th place? They go towards the braking of turn 4. There's a little touch between them um, two drivers. And Dennis manages to keep hold of 12th. And that is Pedro De La Rosa on fire. De La Rosa retires from the Austrian Grand Prix in a plume of smoke. He retires from 3rd place. Meaning all these get promoted. A lot of the top runners are retiring at the moment. Truly 13th place. Oh, that was a little bit of a dive from Dennis. And that was Dennis pitting and he's just been taken out by Trulli. <laughs> it's a bit tricky there from Trulli. Dennis losing a whole lot of time. That's not going to be the BAR driver. Because he was holding in he was holding control of that position and now he's just been overtaken by everyone. Apart from the three drivers that have already retired, he's going to be in last place currently. And away goes Dinners. 8.7 stop for the BAR. It's not a really good stop. We've seen faster stops. But up the hill they go. Panish in 8th place in the BAR. Lazy looks like he's about to go into the pits. And that's a dangerous pit, pit lane. If I've ever seen one. A lazy 8th place. Diving into the pits in the Renault. This frees Panis up. He's now going to drive off into the distance, lap 10. We're expecting the pit stops for the two stoppers between nine, laps 9, 10, 11, 12 ish. And away goes a lazy. There's Trilly Weber. They've both yet to stop, obviously. Weber doing the one stop. And away he goes in 10th place with. Both McLarens in 11th and 12th place. Coulthard has pitted, Hakkinen hasn't, and there is Alonso diving into the pits. Frensen has followed. So Frensen's not going to have an overcut on Alonso. Ralph Schumacher hasn't pitted. He's going to get the overcut on all these. He's currently in third place at the moment. He's free from everyone. There goes Bertie. There is Frensen. He's is he going to be well that looks about the same distance Panis is going to get out in front of Frenton which might cause the German a few problems having to try and negotiate Panis but it is as you are for the leaders there's Fisichella in third place he has yet to stop on lap 11 Barrichello is currently in second place, he has yet to stop, both of them are going to be stopping and Ralph Schumacher also yet to stop, he's probably going to be stopping on this lap as well because the Arrows team are ready for him in the pit lane now up the hill goes the Arrows and, and he is getting prepared to go into the pit lane there's the Arrows' car still parked to the left and into the pits goes the Arrows and it is a hundred kilometers an hour pit limit. He is literally running on fumes now with Ralph Schumacher. It's a perfect time to pit for the German. And he's being serviced now. There's Barry Keller in the Ferrari. All four tires being changed. And away goes Schumacher. It's a bit slow away was Schumacher. But that's not going to harm anything. He's going to maintain the third position that he held. And that's going to be close between Bert. No, it isn't. Bertie is well ahead of Barrichello. Bertie in fifth place, fourth place, I think. And there's Fisichello in sixth place. He has made one uh, stop. Barrichello is in fifth place. He has also made one stop. Bertie, fourth place in the Dragio. He's also made one stop. Schumacher in third place. He's also made one stop. There is Frenson in the other arrows. He's made one stop as well. Second place. But the leader by three seconds is the Toyota of Fernando Alonso. It seems to be just Toyota and Jaguar winning these races. Apart from last race, where a Jordan actually won a race. 
They are nowhere this race, and now somehow they managed to win the last race, but I missed it, didn't I? With much to the amusement of the Jordan uh, team lead, he didn't. Wasn't best pleased that I missed the race. But I was ill, I couldn't help it. We're on board with Hakkinen, now we're on board with Sato. And now it's truly 13th place. Reckoning directly in front. In 12th place, 11th is Button in the over Jordan. Gulfard is 10th place. With a lazy in 9th and Panis in 8th. That's how, you see how much he's perfected Din is. The fact he's nowhere near the Jordan, so Angus is truly taken about. A lazy is in 9th place with Panis in 8th. For the BAR, two, three points currently for the BAR team. Weber is currently in seventh place, but he has yet to make a stop. So everything is going to change pretty much when he makes a stop. Fizzy Kello's in the Renault in sixth place, with Barry Kello in fifth place, and Bertie directly in front in fourth. And Ralph Schumacher is currently in third place in the Arrows. With Frenson, second place. For the other arrows, is going to be a whole heap of points for the arrows team currently. Being in second and third place is going to cement their place at the top of the standings. Lonzo leading still for the Toyota team. And we go back on board with Barry Callow, who is a second behind Bertie in fifth. He's in fifth place. He's five seconds behind Fisichella. In front of Fisichella, sorry. So there's not going to be much hope of Fisichella catching Barry Caron unless he runs into problems. There's 12 laps to go in this race, not including this one. You're on lap 14 out of 26. With Fisichella in sixth place in the Renault. And then we're on board with Weber in 7th, Linda Sauber. 8th place is Panis. 9th place being Al Lazy in the Renault in 10th place. Currently is David Coulthard in the McLaren. Up the hill towards turns 10 and 11. We go on board with Button now, he's in 11th place. With Kimi Raikkonen in 12th place, but it looks like the Sauber team are getting ready. And Weber has already driven past, so it's going to be for Kimi Raikkonen as he goes round to the pit lane into his 100 km an hour speed limit. And into the pit box he goes. And that is not a very good camera angle of the Sauber pit. They are nowhere near the Sauber pit. 8.4 stop anyway, there's Sato driving past and he goes up the hill now to rejoin the track from his one and only stop, he's going to be just in 13th, no is he? Hakkinen and Raikkonen side by side, Raikkonen is still behind Hakkinen but he's now got Dennis for company, Dennis looking feisty and wanting to overtake Raikkonen as soon as possible on the cold tyres and Diniz stuck his nose up but now Diniz must wait and is he going to overtake around this corner no Raikkonen goes defensive and keeps hold of 15th place and it's probably going to be as you were as Raikkonen has a little look down the inside of Hakkinen but Raikkonen is still in 15th place after making his pit stop and that's going to be pretty much the action for a while I reckon unless Panis does some audacious overtaking move on Raikkonen and tries to overtake him going down the straight but Panis currently doing 1 minute 13.2 up towards the first turn the problem with Panis has is Raikkonen is trying to overtake Hakkinen so Panis can't just send one down the inside of Raikkonen because Raikkonen might drink over to the left to try and send one down the inside of Hakkinen and it'll be an almighty accident. Which we're all hoping to see really aren't we? 
but Hakkinen is keeping firm. They're not in a battle with Raikkonen. Raikkonen doesn't need to make a stop again. Hakkinen does. But they have the leader catching them quite quickly. Of Alonso. Is they going to hold up Alonso? There is Raikkonen. There is Alonso. Diniz is directly behind and Diniz lets Alonso through. Will Raikkonen and Hakkinen be any kinder to the Spaniard? Down the pit straight they go. There's quite a few straights on this track so the back markers can get out of the way quite easily. And Alonso's lost a little bit of time to Franson but not too much. It's easily past Raikkonen. And he's going to be just as easily past Hakkinen. Alonso is probably going to break much, much sooner than Hakkinen. And Hakkinen, is he going to let Alonso through? Yes, he is. Very easy stuff there from Alonso. And that is Fizzy Keller. After the size of the track, Fizzy Keller is now out of the race in the Renault. He was in sixth place. There's Frentzen round the outside of Diniz. Looks like he's been held up slightly by Diniz because he's further behind Alonso than he was. And Schumacher is visibly closer to Diniz as they go around the final corner. Schumacher is 1.3 seconds behind these like Hakkinen. Look, and that's right, and have a little look down the inside of Hakkinen. It's a 1.2 second gap between the two arrows. Alonso, four seconds up the road. He probably won't be catched now. Caught, caught. He won't be caught now. But Schumacher looks quicker at this stage of the race. Raikkonen easily lets Ralph Schumacher fr uh, Ralph Schum friends him through. Now is Hakkinen going to make it any easier for Frensen? Like Raikkonen has made it easy for Ralf Schumacher, but Hakkinen has made it easy for Frensen. In fact, Ralf Schumacher is not past Raikkonen. He's going to have to do it around the two, the double left-handers. There is Diniz now. Bertie directly behind Diniz. Raikkonen lets the arrows through. Hakkinen is pulled up a little bit of a gap so he's probably going to be overtaken in a bit but Bertie looks to be going into the pits now and so does Diniz which will please the Jaguar driver obviously unless Diniz has a slow stop and Bertie just passes him but there goes the BAR and the Jaguar is going to go into the pit the Jaguar needs a very good stop to make sure Panis doesn't get out in front. Not Panis, Diniz doesn't get out in front. And Diniz is back out in front. So Bertie has to overtake Diniz on track. And he's also going to have to overtake Panis on track, it looks like, because Panis has managed to get in front of the Jaguar. Obviously, the Jaguar is going to be much quicker than Diniz. He's going to catch up quite rapidly. There is Panis in fifth place now, who is yet to make up stop. There's Barry Keller in fourth place, who Raikkonen and Hakkinen in front. So Ralf Schumacher has negotiated them back markers. Not with relative quickness. There's Frenzen in second place in the Arrows. He's pitting the same time as Alonso again. Alonso's already in his pit box. Ralf Schumacher has driven away. There's the Ferrari. And Frenson into the pit box now. Change of all four tyres. Alonso's already away. There he is. And out of the pit box goes Alonso in round the corner. And Frenson's coming out as well into a little bit of traffic in the form of Takuma Sato. But that's the only traffic around. Should be easy enough for for Frentzen. There is Alonso in a Toyota. Down the back straight he goes. Barrichello is in second place in the Ferrari. He will probably relinquish that second place. There's Ralph Schumacher currently 
leading the Austrian Grand Prix again. Second time he has held on to the lead and around the final corner and he is not stopping. He's doing a double 11 lap stint. So he'll be pitting with five laps to go. Barrichello not doing a double 11 lap stint. He's done 11 and 10 laps. So Barrichello into the pits he goes. Resume the arrows is going to overtake. He's going to pick the next lap. Because they're the pit crew getting ready for the arrows. There goes Alonso. And I presume there's Frenson. Frenson has overtaken Sato. 7.5 seconds off for the Ferrari. That's a very good stop for the Ferrari team. And he is in front of Bertie. He's managed to jump Bertie into fourth place. But that's pretty much where he's going to end up because I don't think he's going to be in front of the arrows of Ralph Schumacher who is going to be entering the pits this time around. There we are drinking to the right and the arrows go around in the inside of the final corner. He's entering the pits now. And that is not a good sight. Seeing the Jordan of Button to the left and there's Ralph Schumacher going past ours. And there is Schumacher being serviced. Raikkonen going down the pit lane. There is Alonso. And away goes Ralph Schumacher. Frenson's probably going to... Oh, I don't know actually. It's going to be very tough. No, it isn't. Frenson's just way past <laughs> Ralph Schumacher. I, every single time I say it's going to be tight, this turns out to be nowhere near each other. So, it's as you were. Uh, pretty much Alonso leads with Heinz Harold Frenson in second place. Ralph Schumacher's in third in the other arrows. Fourth place is currently Barrichello. He's got Sato in front. Fifth place is Bertie in the Jaguar and Barry Keller goes down the inside of Sato but it Sato is not letting him through yes he is Sato has let Barry Keller through and fifth place is Bertie Panis is behind Bertie pretty much in the middle of nowhere is the BAR 20 seconds behind this lot is Bert, is Bert going to be able to overtake Sato? Is Sato making it hard for the Jaguar? But there we are. Bertie passed the Minardi. There is Panis. Here's Mark Webber for company in 7th place. Another st quite strong race for Webber. It's going to be another points finish. There's a lazy in eighth place. Coulthard in ninth behind in the McLaren. Tenth place is Shirley in the Jordan. He's got the final point at the moment. Raikkonen in eleventh is nowhere near. Sato is in twelfth place in the Minardi. Hackenden is in thirteenth. And he's still got Pedro Diniz for company behind him. And Young is in 15th and last place currently for the Minardi team. And that is everyone left. And Weber, that is... No, Mark Weber, 7th place, retires. I've commentators cursed him. He's not going to get 7th place, he's just pulled off to the side of the road to retire his car. Lazy in 7th now in the Renault. 8th place is Coulthard, obviously 9th place would be Trulli, I can't remember who's in 10th place, it might be Raikkonen. If I remember correctly. Now Bertie, 5th place, Barrichello 4th with Ralph Schumacher in 3rd. In the arrows, there is Frentzen. He's got to over re-overtake Raikkonen. 
in the Sauber, but it's only Raikkonen this time. It's not Hakkinen and Raikkonen. So it should be relatively easy for Frentzen to overtake. Saying that, he's making... He's, Raikkonen is not letting him through. And she, Ralph Schumacher catches up to Frentzen slightly. As Frentzen now sends one down the inside. And Raikkonen smartly lets him through. And his, Ralph Schumacher is going to make an easier time of this. A second behind Frentzen now. Frentzen on a slow, uh, slow lap because of Raikkonen. But Arrows, we're on the final lap as well. I've completely lost track of the amount of laps. As we go on board with Fernando Alonso in the Toyota doing his final lap of the race it's been quite the drive for the Spaniard it's quite a quiet drive but he's done what he's needed to do he's kept calm he's not had much pressure there's not had much fighting to do but all he needed to do was keep calm and he did just that with Fernando Alonso wins the Austrian Grand Prix for Toyota. It's a third race win for Toyota. Frentzen comes home in second place. Ralph Schumacher makes it an Arrows double podium. Barrichello in fourth. Bertie in fifth place. And then we have the, quite the gap to the... B-A-R of Olivier Panis about to come home in 6th place with a B-A-R and across the line now Olivier Panis finishes in 6th place a lazy another little bit of a gap but he will finish in 7th place in the Renault there we are 8th place is going to be Coulthard and I believe that will be the last driver to cross the line. As Trulli will probably dive into the pits. And there's Raikkonen in 10th place. In the Sauber, he has already finished. And there is Alonso going into Park. Ferme. Winner of the Austrian Grand Prix, Fernando Alonso in the Toyota and there we are we are on the classified results Fernando, as just mentioned Fernando Alonso wins the Austrian Grand Prix for Toyota 30 minutes 47 seconds was that race Heinz Old Fence and 5.7 seconds behind Toyota in the end with Ralph Schumacher rounding off the podium 7.0 seconds behind our race winner and we shall talk about the rest of the drivers when we get their lap times as it's just easier like that there's Fernando Alonso three laps he didn't lead for but each of them lapped, uh, was Ralph Schumacher leading Fancy Old Friends in quite a quiet race finishing in seventh, second place Ralph Schumacher looked like he was going to come fourth at some point and then Pedro de Rosa retired Riz Barrichello, fourth place. He managed to jump Bertie in around the pit stops. It's a very disappointing race for the Jaguar team. Bertie being jumped by Barrichello. Olivier Palace, 11th on the first lap, and he managed to get up to sixth place. It's a good race for the BAR. Jean Lacy had a quiet race, but managed to get up into seventh place. Another quiet race for David Coulthard. Not much action for him. He ended up in eighth place in Trulli. Managed to get to two points in the end for the Jordan team. Tenth place is Raikkonen. It managed to salvage something for the Sauber team. Eleventh place just outside of the points is the Minardi of Takuma Sato. Twelfth place is Mika Hakkinen. Still pointless this season is the McLaren driver. Thirteenth place Pedro de la Pedro de la Ro Pedro Dinis. <sighs> De, De La Rosa now drives for BAR. Oh, yeah, there you are. Dinez finishes in 13th place. 14th place was Alex Young. And a list of retirements. Mark Webber looking like he was going to come 7th. 
retired though. Jordan of Button retiring. Fisichello was quite high up. He was in seventh, sixth place at the time of his retirement. Pedro de la Rosa held on to third for quite a while before his retirement. Mika Salo was in fifth place before his retirement and Michael Schumacher retired from 7th before the race pretty much begun. That was the Austrian Grand Prix. Thank you for watching and goodbye.